Hello again music lovers, Uncle Rodis here again with another video. Um, I'm probably going to have to make several of them actually because I am way behind catching up with all the stuff that I have had arriving and been purchasing over the last couple of weeks or so since my last video. It's actually really full on music arriving at the moment. This um, one is going to be CDs, so if you're not into CDs, see you later. Watch the next video. Um, but I have got quite a few CDs that I've picked up recently so I'm going to share those just because I want to. Um, I think I showed in an earlier video some releases from a record label here in New Zealand called Rattle which is releasing a lot of jazz, local jazz and contemporary compositional type music um, sort of like our version of ECM or John Zorn Zadok label and I've been very, very impressed with the quality of the music and the packaging and everything. So um, they have a subscription on their website where you pay an amount of money for 12 months and depending on how much you pay, you get a bunch of subscription CDs, up to nine CDs for their top of top subscription for the most amount. And they work out quite cheap, like about 20 bucks a CD or 21 bucks a CD, um, which is really good because their full price is about $32 for each CD. Also, you get a 20% discount off any other purchases for the time you are subscribed. The subscriptions last for 12 months. So I got a nine CD, which is the highest subscription, a nine CD sub subscription, and I have redeemed five of those CDs so far. So I redeemed another two CDs the other day and bought two CDs that weren't on the list to be redeemed, so which are fairly new releases. So I picked up these ones here. This is a new release for this year. The Roger Fox Big Band. Um, Roger Fox has been around New Zealand music scene for decades. I mean, he's been around since the late 70s. Um, so he plays here big band jazz. Um, this album is a bunch of covers of local music. Um, there is a track here, the cover of Fat Freddy's Drops Wandering Eye, which was a big hit for them here in New Zealand. A great song. That's that sort of my more dubby, sort of pop dubby electronica. Um, there's also a track by Phil Broadhurst, which is um, on one of the other CDs I bought recently of theirs. Yeah, this is a nice set. I enjoyed that. Um, this one here is the Jazz Groove Mothership Orchestra. This is another fairly big band um, release. This is actually an Australian band, or well, they were they're resident in Australia. I'm not sure if they're local from here, but they're actually in Australia. This was recorded in Sydney uh, last year. This is pretty cool. Um, nice, nice music. Uh, this one here is um, compositional or classical type music. Um, David Farquhar, Farquhar has been around New Zealand scene, I'm not familiar with him, but he has been around the New Zealand scene for quite some time. And so there is a bunch of pieces here which have been written, I've got the dates, I know there's quite a few over different periods. Well, this one here I think is the earliest from 1950, um, right through to fairly recent. I think he's passed away, I think he passed away in 2007 actually. Um, so yeah, I've, I've had a quick listen to this and it's quite nice, I like it, it's, um, yeah, I mean there's pieces here from 1992, yeah, um, this is, it's nice to, to hear what's going on in New Zealand in that scene, it's not something that I've really had a lot of involvement with, so, anyway, and the last um, one I picked up from Rattle this week, or last week, is this one here, again, this isn't, it's not listed under their jazz, because it doesn't have jazz written on the cover, um, so what it is, is, is um, Bill Manhire is a New Zealand poet and they've taken some of his poetry or he's given them some poetry to put together for this project and it was a live concert recorded in 2011 at um, Victoria University uh, so there is a piano and a vocal I think it is, piano and vocals no sorry there isn't this, uh, oh well Hannah Griffiths is the vocalist and she's fantastic and Norman Meehan is the pianist they're the leaders and then there is yeah there is a whole lot of brass and backing vocals oh yeah, back, yeah guitar backing vocals there's a choir involved um, yeah so let's see it, it, it's 
but it is jazz it is jazz flavoured but it is actually quite poppy um, but it's sophisticated yeah jazz influence pop and it, it's really good I mean I really it's, it's I mean it's mellow it's laid back it's it's not um, you know out there but it's really really good and she's a great singer and I'm very impressed don't know if I showed this yet one but I picked this up this is why you see I may have already showed it this is Youth for Christ they were originally called back in the early 80s they came out in Christchurch for they were around for about three years from about 1981 to 1984 this is a compilation CD of pretty much their EP which they released at the time which had six songs on it which I used to have a copy of many years ago which is fantastic post-punk kind of dark kind of percussionist percussion driven music I really like it there's a whole bunch of other tracks yeah there were six tracks on the EP and there's another ten tracks which are basically live recordings and demos and things that were never released but the whole thing's actually quite cool not particularly hi-fi um, finally got a copy of this one here uh, Rom if you're watching yeah had a listen to this on my headphones I really like it yeah this is from you know Ron Anderson who's in the vinyl community um, so this is his release, Secret Curve, on John Zorn Zadek Records from 2011. Ron Anderson's pack, I think they call themselves. Yeah, this is nice music. It's, I mean, I wouldn't say it's nice music, as in that it's soothing music. It's pretty intense and full on, but it's really good. Um, this one here, finally got my hands on this. This is Breathing Cage. This is a compilation from Jay Clarkson's Breathing Cage from the uh, mid actually mid 80s mid to late 80s so she was in the playthings in Christchurch she was from Christchurch or, or the band was from Christchurch playthings were the first band they released a couple of singles and a live album which are really impossible nearly impossible to get your hands on or, or really expensive then she was in another couple of bands called the expendables and they were expendable again really really tricky to get your hands on them I've seen them going for over a hundred dollars each for their EPs um, and they had a 7 inch single which I used to have a copy of so I'd love to get my hands on them or I would love someone to release them on CD as a compilation and then she did The Breathing Cage they put out one album called Misery Chord um, which is pretty much here in full and then a bunch of other tracks I think this is pretty much most of what they recorded um, got this through Failsafe Records which were, the, uh, which were the guys who released some of the stuff originally um, Failsafe for a Christchurch label who um, also released that YSC um, CD. I ordered it from their website because they have some CD reissues. This was from 2006 and unfortunately they were really struggling to find a copy and I probably got the last copy they had so that was cool. Um, this one here I just put... This one here I picked up on Friday night at the concert I went to, um, which I've just been writing about for the blog, my blog. Um, Troika is a Christchurch band. It's instrumental, mostly instrumental, post-rock, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it gets pretty heavy. It's quiet, some quiet, and, and, they, and they rock out. Um, I really enjoyed them live. They were really impressive. Uh, I've had quite listened to this. Um, when I got home after the concert but I haven't really had a um, I don't think it quite comes across as well as they did live which is interesting because one of the other bands is the opposite but um, they got two CDs out this is their latest one from 2011, uh, 2013 they got another one that they had in 2011 so they've been around a couple of three years they've also got another one in the pipeline of which they played a couple of tracks I uh, uh, got a copy of this just the other day. This is uh, John Zorn's Book of Angels, Masada, Book 2. This is Volume 28 from the Nova Express Quintet, which is one of John's regular bands that release quite a bit of his music. And, uh, yeah, this is nice stuff. I've only had to listen to it once, but I just love all of these. I've got all 28 volumes so far, and I think there's maybe one or two more volumes to go, and then it's the end of it. Um, the other thing I picked up, there's a new website here in Christchurch um, uh, 
record type online record shop at the moment although I think the guy is setting up a wee retail space he said to come and have a listen and and browse the records and um, in, in Christchurch behind his house and his, and his office sort of shed whatever so that'll be interesting anyway he had um, on his website called Lingering Sound he had a copy not a copy he had a box set or a, or a, co- a collection I should say now what it is a CD collection is this thing here is called a low a low hum and this is a magazine that came out um, in three series the first series came out I don't know maybe early 2000s for about eight or nine issues and then I think they had a wee bit of a break and then the next series came out uh, you know like fanzine I guess you call it the next series came out which is this one this is the first one issue eight this is of, of is so there, were num- there was eight seven in the first one and then this one is the second series and what he did in the second series was he would take the bands each band and he would do a, an interview with each band in the in the magazine and then he would have a CD in the magazine there and each CD would have tracks by each of the bands so as he said you actually read along book and CD it says up in here so you read the book while you're listening or if you want to you read the book so you can read so anyway these are compilations um, CDs by you know all New Zealand artists and um, I've had a listen I haven't got through them all yet but I've had a listen to them so this set comprises of one two three four five actually six of the second series of, of magazines with the CD compilations and they are all I mean what I've heard of them is really good they're great I mean a lot of the bands so they recorded stuff a lot of the bands aren't probably around anymore this is from 2004 I'd love to get my hands on the other um, two or three copies that I haven't got to fill out the set and then the next series that he did was this one here with the magazine changed format a little bit as, as in the shape of it and they did another nine but they also changed the format of the CD so the CDs then came in dual cases where they had the compilation but they also had a second CD which would have a featured band and would have an EP or an LP like this one's got a band called Ejector and there's one, two, three, four, six songs on that second CD of that band. I've got six of these as well um, that came as the second series but um, that again is not all of them. I think there was ten I think there was ten of each all up so I'm missing some copies but this was basically I think what this this fella a lingering sound bought this set and unfortunately there are two missing of the second series which we're trying to track down um, and then if I really can which I doubt I'd like to get the full complete set but like I say the first set was from 2004 I think the second set was from 2007 so pretty hard to get although I have seen some of the CDs down at, at the record shop um, but I think they're the ones I've already got but I'll check on that but yeah I wouldn't mind getting the whole set but yeah the compilations are fantastic I mean most of the bands I haven't heard of there's a few a few there that I've heard of recently that are still going and still putting out stuff which I've actually even well I'm sort of starting to think about buying some of the music but like, the compilations I've heard and mostly it's mostly indie pop New Zealand sort of indie pop which in, in a lot of our indie pops has quite a bit of an experimental edge but I, I really like them yeah I reckon like them. I'm not a big indie pop man but I think the New Zealand scene is actually quite strong and healthy so and still still going pretty strong so yeah really pleased to have those and I will be getting through those so that's a, that's a lot to keep me busy and um, that's just the CDs I've still got four John Zorn CDs waiting for in the mail um, and, and a couple more records but um, I've got a whole heap of records that have procured recently so I'll make um, I'll have to make at least another two or three videos for those so anyway I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching and catch you again